Hey folks, this is Billy D.K.Y., the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be my video, Know Your Teacher, Reality, for my blog, Following the Way of Growth. And basically, I'm just going to read through it and talk about it as, a, as I read through it. First, I put my faith into science, but it failed to produce the results I sought. So, you know, I, I've known for quite a long time that something wasn't right. I thought it was just with me, but now I realize it was with the world. You know, and I put my faith in science study. I thought, you know, learning the truth through science would help me out. And I'm not saying it didn't help me some, but it really didn't produce the results I was seeking. So in college, I eventually abandoned, well, I didn't abandon quit learning science. However, I did lose my faith that it was actually going to help me find what I was seeking. Then I put my faith into religion, but it too failed to produce the results I sought. You know, from there, I basically, I studied Christianity, read the Bible several times, found a good church, blah, blah, blah. In the end, it didn't give me the results I, I sought. So, then, now I put my faith into learning reality through my own senses and thinking for myself. And finally, I'm getting the results that I sought from the beginning. So, you're not going to find the results you want until you start learning for yourself, thinking for yourself, and get in harmony with what is around you, which leads into my next thing. You live in reality, which I, it's completely obvious. However, it is, it seems like a lot of people really live in their head, you know, living what they think is reality is about instead of what reality really is. So, learning reality is the only thing that is going to improve your life, which, I mean, I think that's completely obvious, but people somehow think that, you know, believing a bunch of stuff is going to help them, which believing a bunch of stuff hinders you doesn't help you the bless the best place to learn reality is directly from the source outside your window look about it think about it it ain't gonna all come at once it's gonna take baby steps but you will eventually start figuring things out and you can learn from people who've actually learned reality too like myself and there's i'm not the only one so you know you can there's plenty of sources out there if you know what you're looking for the best way to learn reality is to start from where you are. You know, you know, you know a few things. You know the sun's going to come up every day. You know there may be clouds there, but you, you you live long enough to see it happen every day that you know it's going to happen. And then you proceed slowly from there using baby steps, which I mentioned already. Okay. When I started this journey for learning reality for myself, I didn't know exactly how to do it. I was just I was in a bad spot, and I was just like I have to learn. You know, it wasn't I didn't have no choice. I didn't have the luxury of not learning it, so you know I'd learned from I'd learned from science, Christianity, Buddhism, Taoism, yoga, the master martial arts, a whole bunch of people, and finally it got to where it wasn't producing the results that I needed, and uh, and I looked out the window and I was like, "What do I do now?" And it hit me like a ton of bricks. If it works, do it. If it doesn't work, don't do it. And pay attention so you can learn a difference. And obviously when I say if it works, I'm thinking long term, not short term. And so, so from right then I knew, ah, that's how you learn reality. So there's methods for learning reality. Notice what I didn't say. Now, I didn't tell you what is. I told you how to figure out what is for yourself. You don't have to listen to me. You just apply that method and you can figure out whatever it is. You might figure out things I've never figured out or maybe you won't. But it, it's, it's, it's right in your hands to figure it out. And also, notice the power of this method lies in its humility. It does not assume, it doesn't presume that you already know. It, it allows you to learn it. And it gives you the way to learn it. Okay. Okay, so let me just read this. Note the power of this method lies in its humility. It does not presume you already know. So your mind is open to accepting what is. A lot of times... I have problems with Christians and just people in general. They think they already know, so it's like, nope. I say it's over here now. No, I've already I already know what it is. I ain't look investigating any more reality. If your mind is closed, you ain't learning deadly. You've already made your mind up that it's that way, and it's just the way it's going to be in your mind. Not in reality, in your mind. Always keep an open mind, but don't be gullible. For more methods, you can I have in if you go to the link. If you go to this entry in my Fallen the Way of Growth, there'll be a link to uh, methods and techniques. And I'll put it in the information section of this video so you, you don't have to search for it.
So if you want to learn more methods and techniques like this that I help you learn reality for yourself, there'll be a link in the information section under mm -hmm. methods and techniques. Okay, next next paragraph. You need to be cautious with book knowledge. I'm not saying, ooh, be scared of book knowledge. No, you got it. I'm not saying, forget book knowledge, only listen to me. That's not what I'm saying. This ain't some cult-minded mentality here. Okay, too many times book knowledge gets gets you ahead of yourself, which is a baby steps violation, which makes it harder harder to grow. So when people think they already know, well, science has already told me that's the way it is, they quit thinking for themselves, and that's not a good thing. You always want to think for yourself. You can listen to science, but you need to think for yourself and test it for yourself, you know, as much as you can. You know, relativity and stuff like that, you may not be able to test for yourself, but, you know, you can, other things you can. Plus, book knowledge can be used as a crutch for not thinking. Again, when you're not thinking, that's a bad thing. Not to mention all the misinformation. We've, we've all seen misinformation from science. All oh, eggs are bad for you. Eggs are good for you. Bad, good, back and forth. I, I really don't care anymore, you know? I taste them. They taste all right. They're fine, you know? If it makes me sick, I'll quit eating it. If it don't, I'm going to keep eating them. Anyway, a lot of information sounds good to our egotistical mind, but it just isn't so. I mean, there's a lot of things that sound good to you because your ego coddles your ego. You know, like if a girl's you tell a woman she's attractive, she's more likely going to believe you even if she's butt ugly. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you've got to question if the information you're getting is really legitimate. Also, there's so much information available that it's easy to be blinded by the details. And you endlessly see this on the internet when you type in something, you get 50,000 hits. I can't sort through it. It's too much information. So, anyway, again, I'm not saying don't read. I'm saying use the information that you read wisely so you can grow. Any other purpose is an egotistical journey. So a lot of times people learn stuff just to know stuff, just so they can argue good. That's, that's a piss poor reason to learn anything. You learn it because it helps you grow, helps you be in more harmony with the essence of life. In short, if you haven't seen it for yourself, you haven't seen it. And I run into people all the time, oh, how do you know what you... What gives you the authority to talk like this? I'm like, well, because I learned it for myself from reality. Because uh, I didn't learn it from a book, you know. And so, again, if you haven't seen, if you just read in a book, you really, you just, you're thinking you know. You don't know you know yet. Again, the goal of learning isn't to gain knowledge, but to improve your life. Anyway, folks, in the information section, I'll have several links. The first link will be to the Fallen Away of Growth blog, which basically is spirituality boiled down to science. And there will also be a link to The Path, which is basically a repository of all the truths that I discover, and I just, you know, pack them in there. And I'm constantly adding new stuff to it. And also underneath that, I'll have a link to that, what I mentioned while ago, the uh, methods and techniques, which comes from that Path blog. And I'm also on Twitter at BillyDKY, and I'll have a link there to it. And, and if you wouldn't mind, please rate. Until next time, later, folks.